Our study found that about four out of 10 people thought that they probably weren't going to be able to get onto the property market until they were in their 40s. And actually about half of 25 to 45 year olds weren't even sure they'd be able to buy a property at all. Um, the flip side of that actually interesting was, was a very high percentage of people, probably about 80 or 90% in some instances, hadn't actually explored all the different options that were available to help them get on the property ladder when they haven't got a very big deposit. A number of years ago, obviously before the recession, um, mortgages were, seemed to be a lot more easy to get hold of. People were able to borrow a lot bigger amounts. People were able to borrow maybe, I don't know, up to six times their salaries and 100% mortgages were available. Since the last recession, there's obviously been a lot of nervousness around those kind of deals because obviously those are seen as what helped to cause the recession. So things have tightened up, you know, mortgages aren't as freely available um, in terms of how much you have to earn and salaries. So I think there is, there is a difference in terms of lending criteria has obviously tightened up quite a lot. Yeah, I think about 90% of people hadn't really looked into or they didn't know about shared equity, which is, which is one of the schemes that came about after the recession, which was where developers were keen to try and get their houses moving. So they offered these incentives for purchasers where they, in effect, lent about you know, a percentage of the purchase price back to the, borrow, back to the purchaser, gave them like another little mortgage over the property, really, which helped a purchaser to buy a property that they wanted because they didn't have to put the full 100% down and get a mortgage for the full 100%. So that and shared ownership are obviously two of the two of the ways. But yeah, a big percentage of people between you know 18, 90% of people hadn't really considered those options. It may just be that people haven't considered those options because they're just not being marketed enough. There's maybe not enough in the media. There maybe isn't enough in terms of local press around developers so maybe developers who are building in local areas need to make more of a deal around what they're offering what their site what the potential they've got with the sites that they're building maybe more registered social landlords need to make it clear in terms of the deals that they've got on offer and what units they've got for sale on shared ownership basis